Hey guys, I thought I would take a minute to show you all the difference between a main panel and a sub panel. If you had watched my previous video on how to wire a house, this is uh, I'll put the link to that up top here. This panel that I'm wiring now is actually out in my shop and this is a sub panel from the main panel back in the house. One of the big differences between a sub panel and your main panel, at least around here, is that you must separate your neutrals and your grounds. You can see back behind those wires, you can see the ground bar back there. Those are not bonded together in this panel. Over here is the bonding screw. You can see that it is not connected to the neutral lug in this panel. This is my main coming in to this top breaker here. This is the main for this panel. This p main then feeds the bus, which feeds all of the breakers. And from that is where I have all of my circuits tied in in my shop. I'm still adding a few. Uh, still got a little bit more work to do. But that is one of the main differences between a sub-panel and a main panel. The cable that I ran is actually a four-conductor cable. Uh, the shadow here is horrible. I have got my two hots coming up and going into the main. I then have my neutral coming in here and also a ground coming in. That ground is coming in and coming up to the ground bar. The again is back behind those wires and this is a four conductor 125 amp cable that is feeding this box. This is a 100 amp main and it's actually a little larger than what I'm going to need it for out in my shop but I have plenty of room for expansion if I needed to. Anyways, guys, I uh, just wanted to show you just a little bit of the differences between a main panel and a sub panel. Check out my other videos. Uh, please subscribe, and thanks for watching.